welcome back to my channel for this video about a walk from Elterwater over Slater's Bridge, past Colwith Force, then back to Elterwater via the Cumbria Way. Let's get going. So we leave either the Langdale Estate or the car park at Elterwater and cross over the bridge that goes over the Beck. So having crossed the bridge, we follow the road round to the left. We reach the Eltermere Hotel and there we take the right hand turn a little while up that road. What we do is as the track forks, we take the left hand fork. That takes us up quite a rocky path. Basically, we what we might describe as on the foothills of Lingmore Fell. As we walk up that path, there are a number of really nice views off to the left hand side. We pass a gate to a path that goes down into the Langdale Valley and comes out not too far from the Three Shires Inn. What we're going to do, though, is carry on down that path that uh, basically hugs the bottom of Lingmore Fell. Again, some really nice views off to the left hand side, down across and into the little Langdale Valley. Eventually we pass a farm and then we pick up the farm road, which takes us to the road that runs through little Langdale Valley. Um, there's like a slightly staggered crossroads here. So what we're going to do is go slightly to the left before we go right and pick up another track that actually leads to another farm. Now, along this track, there are other really, really nice views. Off to the right hand side, a little way down that track, we'll be able to see uh, the very pretty um, little Langdale Tarn. Um, you've got views across towards the Langdale Pikes um, through the little Langdale Valley. Now, the little Langdale Tarn um, actually empties towards Slater's Bridge, and we're going to look at that in a little while. And what was really nice about this particular walk, I felt anyway, was that having been here a number of times, this was the first time I can ever remember being at Slater's Bridge when there was absolutely no one else around, which made it a really nice place, a really nice time to get some brilliant pictures um, and video of Slater's Bridge. Here you can see the small stream just coming out of Little Langdale, uh, Little Lang Langdale Tarn, and it kind of feeds the small pool that gathers um, around the two parts of the bridge. So you might be able to hear in the background just the flowing water that comes around Slater's Bridge. And, and Slater's Bridge is one of uh, Lakeland's ancient pedestrian bridges, and it, and it connects really the hamlet of Little Langdale um, with the many slate quarries in the Tilberthwaite area, including the Cathedral Quarry and the Hodge Close Quarry. And this two-part Slater's Bridge really takes advantage of um, central large rocks, a very long slate slab to cross the river Braithe on its way from Little Langdale Tarn to Elterwater. But look at that, no people around, absolutely brilliant views of this absolutely wonderful place. One of my favorite places in the Lake District. You can see there the water burbling away as um, the pools kind of expand and contract a little. Um, sometimes a really nice mass of lily pads in the corner here um, just to break up the water. Really, really lovely spot. Anyway, having enjoyed Slater's Bridge, we walk away from the bridge we come away on the path um, through a gate onto another track and we turn left. Uh, we follow that track along. There's a bridge on the left hand side as we get towards the end of this section of the track. Don't go that way. Carry on. Follow the path through the trees round a tight corner. As we start to come up on a hill that we start to climb, it's a paved roadway, brilliant views to the left hand side. You follow this through yet another kind of farm or farming buildings, take a left, carry on on this pathway. Um, it's just brilliant, the views all around, just a wonderful, wonderful walk. Um, eventually we find our way to um, a gorgeous little um, a series of buildings, again through another gate, and eventually we find ourselves at the edge of the woods. We follow the path down into the woods. We can take the high road, but we don't. We go down towards the river 
through the woods. It gets a little bit dark and eventually the river starts building up a little bit of speed to our left hand side. And we're getting closer and closer to Colwood Falls. And here's our first glimpse of the waterfall, the very upper part of the waterfall. Just make out the water through the trees. And here we are now. This is where you get the most spectacular view of Polwood Force. And the, the waterfall here on the River Breakway drops in several stages down a total of around about 40 feet. From here, the Breakway drains all the hills in the Langdale area and joins the little Langdale Tarn we saw a little bit earlier on its way to Elterwater and eventually into Windermere via Colwood Force. Look out for the flora, um, uh, some really interesting algae you can find in this incredible log with loads and loads of nails, uh, loads and loads of coins nailed into it. Once we come and follow that path, we come onto a road, take a right, then a small gate on the left takes us to another path. Here we're starting to join the Cumbria Way. Up this staircase through the woods, that's a view back down, through a number of um, styles, styles all the way across the Cumbria Way or this part of it, through Elter Water Park, really nice place with um, a guest house, some self-catering facilities and a little cafe. We carry on on this path. Again, there are some gorgeous views to be had. This particular one, just as we come around a right hand bend in the path, looking over towards um, the Langdales again. Um, sometimes there are grazing animals in these fields. Sometimes there aren't. Uh, but it's just a really gorgeous place to walk. And um, what we're starting to, new, to do now is um, head towards to water again we take the left hand path eventually there's this gate at the beginning of the woods go through the woods again another left hand path we need to take now this takes us to a bridge that goes over the river brafe a little bit later and here the river is just yards away from skill with force so if you want to take a short diversion to the skill with force then you take a right at the end of the bridge then you can double back round to the left and you're on the main path then between skill with bridge and Elter Water. And here um, uh, we've got the absolute gorgeous view, of course, across Elter Water itself to the Langdale Pikes, one of my most favourite places in the Lake District. Absolutely gorgeous. So we pick up the path again, make our way back towards Elter Water, and here we are. Back into Elter Water then and opposite the Britannia, and uh, we're back either to the car park or into the Langdale estate from where we started. So let's have a think about what have we just done. So today's walk then. We started in Eltwater, went over the bridge that goes over the Great Langdale Beck, followed the road round to the left, then took a right, came to a fork in, in tracks, went to the left hand track, up the hill onto the foothills, it sounds a bit grand, uh, but the bottom of Lingmore Fell. Um, followed that along until the path veered off through a farm onto um, a farm track um, then down to the little Langdale uh, Valley Road across the road onto another track that takes you towards another farm on your right hand side there's little Langdale Tarn um, over Slater's Bridge onto a path uh, to the left once you've gone across the bridge um, uh, follow that path round um, uh, up a hill through another farm um, onto the Cumbria Way. Um, uh, eventually you go into the woods and uh, you pass Cold with Force. Well worth um, uh, having a little look at the waterfall there. Um, uh, from Cold with Force you head towards uh, the uh, road, cross the road that you come to, um, uh, turn right onto the road and after a few yards you'll see a small gate in a style. Um, uh, continue that way for the Cumbria Way and eventually that leads you through to um, near Skelwith Bridge. But just before Skelwith Bridge, when you're in the woods, you take a left. There's a bridge over the river that takes you, uh, that goes to Skelwith Force. Opportunity just a few yards away to pop down to see the waterfall. But the uh, finishing route then actually takes you left off that bridge um, uh, along the path back to Elterwater. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, uh, do subscribe to my channel. Eventually there will be more videos um, uh, from the Lake District. Uh, and let me know if you uh, 
enjoy that walk if you've taken that walk um, it's just as great done in either direction let me know what you think thanks for watching <laughs>